Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's talk about which cable you should get to connect your Mac to an external display. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So I'm often asked, what cable should you get when you want to attach your Mac to an external display? Maybe it's a Mac Mini or Mac Studio, so you need to attach a display to use it at all. Or maybe you want to attach a second display to a MacBook or iMac. Now, it should be pretty straightforward which cable you need to do this. But you're faced with several options. And a lot of times people choose the wrong one. In particular, a lot of times people get an HDMI cable or adapter when what they should be getting is a DisplayPort cable. Of course, what it really comes down to is the two devices. You've got ports on your Mac and ports on your display. You've got to get a cable that goes from one to the other. So let's start by looking at the Macs. So on any recent Mac, you're going to see really one type of port, and that's a USB-C port. So whenever you see a letter after USB, like USB-C, it's describing the shape of the port, not necessarily the type of data that comes out of that port. So for instance, here on an iMac, there are four ports, but the first two could only be used as USB 3.1 data ports. The second two have the little Thunderbolt symbol above it, and they could be used for a variety of different things. As a matter of fact, if you go to the technical specifications for that same iMac, you'll see it shows two Thunderbolt slash USB 4 ports with support 4, and it shows you all the different things these ports can do. For instance, these Thunderbolt ports, while they're USB-C shaped, can be used as display ports. Thunderbolt 3 ports, USB 4, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and they also can carry Thunderbolt 2 and a variety of other things using adapters. Now the key thing I want you to see here is DisplayPort. This is the type of connection we're going to use to go to an external display. But you also notice down here HDMI and you can also use that to go to a display. But I'll explain why you should probably be getting a DisplayPort cable, not an HDMI adapter. If we go to a Mac Mini, we see that there are actually four USB-C ports here. They're all Thunderbolt 4 and they could all be used for all of those different things. So every one of these could be used as a display port. And MacBook Airs and MacBook Pros have between two and three USB-C ports, which are all Thunderbolt 4 ports, and they could be used for display port. So next, let's take a look at the screens. So there are hundreds of different screens you can get for your Mac. I'm going to show you some examples and how to look to see what kinds of connections you've got. So let's take this Samsung here. If we go to this particular model and then we look here at the back, we could see it lists some ports here at the bottom. There's HDMI, HDMI 2, DP, which stands for Display Port. So you've got the options to connect both HDMI sources and Display Port sources to this screen. Here's a nice LG. 32 inch 4K screen and they've got a nice view here of the ports on the back and you could see the top one there is DP in, display port in. Now I want you to take a careful look at the shape of a display port connector so you can identify it very quickly. Notice how it's basically a rectangle but with kind of a corner chopped out like that. Now one thing you may want to keep a look out for, although it's rare, is sometimes the display port port on the back of a screen doesn't look like that. It instead looks like this. And the cable you want then is USB-C to Mini DisplayPort. So Mini DisplayPort is kind of an alternative type of connector. It's still DisplayPort. There's just two different shapes that the port can be. So check on the back of your display carefully to see if you've got DisplayPort, probably, or Mini DisplayPort in some cases. And then also keep in mind that a lot of times your display already comes with the right cable. So you may already have a USB-C to DisplayPort for your display in the box. But I know a lot of cheaper displays may come with no cable at all, or they may give you an HDMI cable instead. So to connect from your Mac to a screen using DisplayPort, you simply need a DisplayPort cable that has USB-C on one end and DisplayPort on the other. If we look on Amazon, we can easily find one of these. Here's one that Amazon makes itself, an Amazon Basics one for 13 bucks. And you can see here on the one end where it says source, you've got USB-C, and on the other end, you've got DisplayPort to go into the back of the screen. Now, the one thing I want you to pay careful attention to is if it mentions something like 4K, 
right here. So you can see this one is 4K at 60 hertz. And a lot of them will say that, 4K at 60 hertz. This is known as a DisplayPort 1.2 cable. It's an older spec and it only supports up to 4K screens. If you've got a 4K screen or less, then this will work perfectly fine as well as any other cable. But if you actually do have a more advanced screen, like one that's 5K or one that supports a faster refresh rate, maybe for gaming or something, you're going to want to look for one that has higher specs than that. So if you search for DisplayPort 1.4 USB-C on Amazon, for instance, you'll come up with slightly more expensive cables that show as 8K 60 Hertz. This is DisplayPort 1.4. A lot of times you actually even say it there. But you can see here the cable ends are the same. You've got USB-C on one side and DisplayPort on the other. And that's basically it. The general answer is you need a USB-C to DisplayPort cable to connect most Macs to most screens. But I know a lot of you are asking, well, why not HDMI? It's just as easy to pick up a USB-C to HDMI adapter as it is a USB-C to DisplayPort cable. And all the displays I just showed you support HDMI. So why not use HDMI instead of DisplayPort? Well, in a lot of cases you can. not But do note a few things. First, that an adapter is different than a cable. A cable is just carrying the data across. An adapter is actually doing something to the data. That means adapters are going to vary. Some are better than others. In a best case scenario, if you connect your Mac using an HDMI adapter to a screen, you're going to get the same options, the same picture quality as you do with the DisplayPort. That's best case. Worst case, you're going to get fewer options. Like you'll find that you can't actually set the screen to some resolutions that you could if you were using DisplayPort. And in some cases, the quality may suffer. The image may appear to be blurry. Now, I know there are going to be plenty of people that say, I'm using HDMI and it looks great. And like I said, best case scenario, it's the same as DisplayPort. But worst case scenario is it's not and it's lower quality and fewer options. That's why it's always better just to keep it simple and go with a DisplayPort cable. That's exactly what DisplayPort is for, to connect a computer to a computer screen. Whereas HDMI is a more general solution used to connect all sorts of different video sources to all sorts of different screen types, including TVs. Now, some of you will note, of course, that some Macs, like for instance, the MacBook Pros, come with an HDMI connector. So you don't need an adapter. All you need is a simple HDMI cable to go from your Mac to the screen. And again, best case scenario is you've got the same options as if you use DisplayPort. But worst case, maybe the screen doesn't support as many options or doesn't show as good a quality of an image when using HDMI. So it's always better to just get DisplayPort because you always know you're getting the best quality there. So I know another question I'm going to get is if DisplayPort is the better option, then why is there an HDMI port on my MacBook Pro or why can I get these adapters? But the answer for that is basically because of projectors. There are tons of projectors out there in classrooms at school and meeting rooms at work that only have HDMI input. The reason the HDMI adapter is there on the MacBook Pro is because they are commonly carried to classrooms and meeting rooms plugged into projectors and it's nice to have the HDMI out from your Mac to do so. But if you're connecting it to a computer display, then DisplayPort is the better option. Like I said before, best case scenario, they're the same, but worst case scenario, DisplayPort's always going to give you the best and HDMI may not. Now I don't have a testing lab here with a whole bunch of different displays. I haven't tested like all the different Macs with a ton of different displays using HDMI and DisplayPort. I've learned this by people actually asking me about problems they're having with their displays. And when I suggest that they should switch from HDMI to DisplayPort, those problems are solved. And I've noted that in some cases, HDMI and DisplayPort give the same options. And I've noted in other cases, DisplayPort is always the better choice. That's why I recommend just going with the DisplayPort cable. And if you really want to test this out on your own, get both. Try hooking it up both ways. Maybe it won't make a difference for you, or maybe you'll find that DisplayPort works better. But if you just want to buy one cable and get it over with, just get the simple solution, a DisplayPort cable from your Mac to the screen. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.